Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today I've got something rather interesting to show you. Have you ever wondered what space engineers would be like if you could sit back, build the ships of your dreams in a survival sort of scenario while your resources were brought to you automatically? Well, don't worry. That's exactly the dream I have had, and that's why I've been working on this automated mining machine, the thing I like to call the Lazy Miner. Now, the idea of this ship is it's going to head off to a GPS coordinate and start mining away at an asteroid. This is a very early prototype version, and of course, it does have some issues for that sort of perspective. So you can see it's actually dropped off the resources at the connector at this moment in time, and it's heading out on its first mining mission, totally autonomously, without any human interaction. The, literally, the human interaction is just pressing the button to power this thing on. So it looks like it's going to be heading towards this asteroid with the GPS coordinates, and it's using a two stage autopilot system. I really want to tell you how this thing works today so you could build your own and make your survival world function a lot more smoothly and automatically. So the first stage of the autopilot system has already just been deployed and that is a standard sort of GPS system. Now the second part is the sensory autopilot. The sensory autopilot is going to guide it through the actual asteroid itself and then re-trigger the standard autopilot that will return it back to base. Sounds simple enough, doesn't it? And that's exactly what it's supposed to be. Something you can whack out in survival mode or you could even convert an existing ship of your mining fleet into an auto miner so you can concentrate on building weapons of mass destruction. Well, no, probably many of you want to build nice stations and pretty sort of happy. But you know, Aaron, look, who's kidding me? We all want to build crazy weapons of mass destruction. We're not, we're not have building them happy solar farm panel stations and things. So it's mining the rest of the way through the station and it'll activate the automatic cutoff system when it mines through. Now, I went through a few different variations of this system trying to make it turn around or rotate itself within the asteroid and I found the best way of doing it was just to let it pass through to the other side, stop, rearm, resort or repair all its systems and make sure. So now it's actually broken through, the sensors have disactivated and originally I told it just to shoot straight back in reverse through the tunnel and back to the station but I ran into a few problems with that. And that is why this later version turns itself around, reactivates the drills and sort of drills its way through a slightly different path in the system. So it should be kicking in about three seconds, hopefully. About three, two, one, and it should be turning around. Any time, any time now, please, drill man. I think, what's, what's going on? It's, maybe it's taking longer than I necessarily, there we go. Oh, damn it, I thought I had broken then these early prototypes so you can see how it's turned itself around and it's going to be heading back to the GPS coordinate down at the station as it cuts through. Now as I was talking to some of the guys who are a little bit more skilled with the coding block on the actual workshop they're explaining how I could make this find specific sorts of materials so you see we've got platinum down there and once the ship picks it up what you could technically do with a programming block is add a GPS coordinate on top of where it's detected the platinum add that GPS coordinate to the autopilot then fly there now this is where it has another problem sometimes it doesn't slow down in time let's see if it slowed down in time this time yes it has now you notice the drills are still on and as it returns to that part of the platform the drills go off and it's going to start its docking procedure, unload all them supplies, and at this moment in time, I could have been having a tea or a cup of tea up in the office above, and you can see as it offloads the supplies into here, it's going to be forced into some larger cargo containers and just a basic sort of resource storage yard that I could pick up. Now, it has to have a little bit of a complicated docking system. If you wanted to use the simple keen sort of document system where it comes straight down, that'd be much more simple but i wanted it to head into the hangar so i could actually lock some doors if there was bandits in the area i could hit the recall button on this drone and it would recall it back into the bunker itself so you can see as we're reversing up now had a little bit of speed to that and it's going to dock and offload all its supplies absolutely great has that been a successful dock uh, a little bit low but i reckon the supplies still would have come out and it's going off on now on a second mining mission i really wanted to show you this today because i've been working on it a little bit on stop for the last few days since the update came out and i was hoping to really inspire you to build some of your own sort of automated or fully truly automated mining systems now there's none of that having to fly out to actually collect your supplies anymore the gps can do it all for you i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you 